Hi, and welcome back, guys. This is going to be a new lesson, and we are going to be focusing on uh, American vowel sounds or the vowels of American English. In our previous lesson, on lesson one, we have two parts na pinag-aralan natin ang different consonant sounds in English. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, I'll post a link dito. Okay, sa taas. So, panoorin nyo muna yon kasi mas madali ang consonant sounds sa American English. Mas mahirap ang vowel sounds ng English and karamihan ng mga non-native speakers, ito ang isa sa mga pinaka malaking problema nila. Madaming nagkakaroon ng problems pagdating sa vowel sounds ng English. Kasi ang ginagawa nila is ina-apply nila ang vowel sounds na alam nila sa native language nila sa mga English words. So, ito yung nagbibigay ng parang foreign accent sa kanila. So, if you can pronounce your your vowel sounds like a native speaker for English, okay, this will give you a much better and understandable pronunciation. Pagdating sa Tagalog, meron tayong lima na vowel letters. The A, E, I, O, and U. Yes, ito ay parehas din pagdating sa American English is we also have five vowel letters. Pero, ang pag-aaralan natin ay vowel sounds. Pagdating sa vowel sounds, technically we have 15, yes, one, five na vowel sounds in American English. And this lesson will help you understand kung ano yung 15 vowel sounds na yon. So, first, ano ba ang vowel sound? Ang vowel sound ay kung saan ang tunog na nanggagaling sa ating lalamunan ay lumalabas ng walang harang. Hindi katulad ng consonant sound, may pumipigil or may humaharang. Very smooth yung labas ng vowel sound. So, there is no obstruction or there is no resistance. Pagdating sa vowel sounds, kailangan nating tandaan na ang phonemic symbols that represent the vowel sounds ay napaka-importante. Just like with our consonant sounds, nag-aralan natin kung ano yung mga iba-ibang phonemic symbols na mag-guide sa atin kung ano ba ang tunog ng particular letter na yon or ang part ng salita na yon. Pag-aralan natin ang mga phonemic symbols muna. So, first, ang symbol na to, as in beat. Next, ang phonemic symbol na to, as in bit. Next, ang phonemic symbol na to, bait. Next, ang symbol na to, as in bet. Next, bat. Next, but. And this one, sofa. And next, is this one, her. Next, is this one, boot. Next, this symbol for book. And then this one for boat. And then this one for bot. And then this one for box. Next, buy. And then this one, cow. And then finally, the last one for boy. Again, I cannot stress how important it is na malaman natin o matandaan natin or even to the point na ma-memorize natin ang mga phonemic symbols na to because these are the guides that we have to use kung paano i-pronounce ang isang salita na tama. Please do your best to memorize these phonemic symbols. Mas mahirap ang vowel sounds kisa consonant sounds. Medyo tricky siya kasi walang clear definition para sa... Uh, articulators natin. But basically, meron tayong dalawang importante na kailangan tandaan para sa vowel sounds. Ito ay kung saan ang dila natin ay in the relaxed position. So, pag sinabi kong relaxed position is hindi natin siya masyadong ginagalaw at uh, freely lang yung location niya sa ating bibig. Kung saan hindi siya tumatama sa ibang parts ng articulators natin. Nasa relaxed position lang yung ating dila. Next naman is ang shape ng ating labi. 
um, hindi siya ganun kaimportante pero if we want to set standards or kung gusto natin magkaroon ng standard eh may correct position siya pero ang ibang native speakers para sa kanila hindi ganun kaimportante ang uh, shape ng kanilang labi Pagdating sa vowel sounds ay meron tayong different categories. So first, ang category na tongue position. Next is the lip rounding. Then we have tense and lax vowels. Next, we have simple vowels, glided vowels, and of course, diphthongs. First, pag-aralan muna natin ang tongue position. Pagdating sa tongue position, napaka-importante ng shape at position ng ating dila. Dahil kung paano natin i-position or ang shape ng ating dila ay nakaka ng malaki sa labas ng tunog or nakaka siya kung paano yung tunog ng, ng, word, ng sound na yon. Again, napaka-importante ng tang position para sa vowel sounds. Now, pagdating sa vowel sounds, uh, medyo mahirap siyang i-explain ang position at ang shape ng ating dila. So, to make it a little bit simpler, uh, gagamit tayo ng quadrant. Ang quadrant ay nagpapakita sa atin kung ano ang horizontal at vertical position kung saan nang gagaling yung tunog. Uh, ng vowel sound. Pagdating sa vertical, meron tayo tinatawag na high, mid, and low. Kung saan ba na, na natin nararamdaman tumatama or kung saan yung tunog na nanggagaling mataas ba, nasa gitna ba, or mababa ba yung pinakatunog sa ating bibig. And then for the horizontal, meron tayong tinatawag na front, central, and back. To give you guys a better understanding, ang word na cat, cat, yung tunog for the vowel sound ay nasa low front. So, kung uh, mararamdaman nyo, cat, cat, yung tunog ay nasa harap ng ating dila or ng ating bibig at mababa yung position niya. In the word cut, cut, okay? Ang, ang positioning niya ay mid-central vowel. So, nasa gitna yung pinakatunog. And then, the, the word boot, boot, ang tunog ay high, pero nasa likod yung tunog. Boot, boot. So, nararamdaman ko, yung uh, yung tunog ay nasa lik- uh, mataas at nasa likod. So, ang chart na to ay magpapakita sa inyo kung ano yung position ng ating dila. So, we have the high, the mid, the low, the front, central, and back. So, please use this chart to guide you on how to correctly pronounce these different vowel sounds. So, looking at the chart, makikita natin there are almost similarities or similarities doon sa position sa, sa ating dila. For example, the word sheep and ship ay almost magkadikit pero hindi sila ganun ka-close. Unlike sheep and shop, ay malaki yung difference ng positioning nila. So, next naman ay ang lip rounding or ang shape ng ating labi. Pagdating sa vowels, malaking effect ang nangyayari depende kung paano natin i-shape yung ating lips. Kung kailangan ba siyang bilog, konting bilog, relaxed, or stretched. So, malaking epekto kung paano natin uh, i-shape yung ating lips. Pero kailangan nating tandaan, ang mga native speakers ay sometimes iba yung pag-shape nila for their vowel sounds. Okay lang yun kasi tama pa rin yung labas ng tunog for their vowel sounds. Pero para sa mga non-native speakers, eh, kailangan magkaroon tayo ng standard kung paano natin i- uh, i-shape yung ating labi. Napaka-importante na magkaroon tayo ng standard na kailangan natin i-follow.
pag-aralan natin ng lip positions for the vowel uh for the vowels of English. So these are not accurate, these are just standards. So depende na rin sa tao kung paano nila i-shape or i-position yung lips nila pagdating sa different vowel sounds. Again, uh wala talagang definite position or shape for each vowel sound, pero like I said, kailangan nating sometimes pag nagpa-practice is to follow a standard. So first is this vowel sound as in beat beat so unrounded yung dila ah, yung labi at may konting stretch dito sa labi natin beat next is this vowel sound as in bit bit so unrounded siya um uh, medyo stretch ng konte yung lips natin next is this vowel sound unrounded siya and not so stretched okay as in bait bait next is this vowel sound uh unrounded din siya and not so stretch bet bet next is this vowel sound unrounded open wide so kailangan nating buksan or kailangan nating open yung ating lips at yung ating lower jaw. So, this vowel sound as in bat, bat. Okay, so as you guys can see, ah, ah. Ma binubuksan ko na maigi yung uh, aking bibig para lumabas ng malinaw yung vowel sound na to. So, next ay itong vowel sound na to. Unrounded siya and again, open wide. This vowel sound as in box, box, box. Next is this vowel sound as in but, but. So, unrounded siya, neutral, and relaxed. So, hardly any movement dito sa aking uh, labi. So, very relaxed siya, very neutral and unrounded but but next is this vowel sound as in boot boot so very rounded yung ating lips very very rounded next is this vowel sound medyo konti lang uh, moderate lang yung pag round niya so this vowel sound as in book book. So, as you guys see, medyo konti lang yung pag-round ng aking lips. Next is this vowel sound, as in boat, boat. Rounded lang siya at the end of the vowel sound. Boat, boat. Okay? So, sa dulo lang siya, nagiging very rounded. Next is this vowel sound, as in bot, bot, medyo open a bit and uh, counting rounded yung ating lips. Bot, bot. Next is this vowel sound, as in her, her. So a bit rounded yung ating lips. So next is this vowel sound, as in by, by. Yung dalawang tunog, which is the uh, A and Y sound, are both unrounded. By. By. So, nagkakaroon siya ng transition. So, nakikita nyo, I. So, medyo sinasara ko yung aking lips. Next is this vowel sound. As in, how. How. It's represented by two vowel letters, which is the A and W. So, nagkakaroon ng transition from the A to the W sound. Okay. Cow. Cow. So, the A, open, unrounded, and then round, go transitioning to the rounded. Oh, cow. Next naman is this vowel sound. 
as in boy, boy, from rounded to unrounded. So there's the transition. Very important. Kailangan meron tayong transition. Boy, boy. Okay, we have the O and the Y sounds in this vowel sound. So the transitioning is extremely important. Let's end the video right here. I, uh, madami tayong pag-uusapan. We're going to be practicing a lot of different words representing the different sounds of vowels in American English. So ayokong pahabain masyado. But let's do a recap. So today we learned what are vowel sounds. Next are the 15 different vowel sounds that we can find in American English. We also learned the phonemic symbols. Again, very important. Kailangan yung ma-memorize yan because it's a guide for you. Also, in this lesson, we learned tongue position and lip rounding. On our next lesson, we're going to be practicing different words that is represented by the different vowel sounds. So, puro practice lang yung gagawin natin for the next lesson. So, I want to really thank you guys for continually watching my videos and I really hope that may natutunan kayo. You guys are learning something new and hopefully you guys can really improve uh, your pronunciation. Also, uh, nagkaroon ako ng post maka, uh, just a couple of days ago asking you guys to send me recordings of your voice where I can listen to it and give you my thoughts kung ano yung kailangan yung i-improve para sa pronunciation nyo. Uh, it's very simple. All you need to do is uh, to read this short story. I, I posted the story on the description down below. Basahin nyo lang yon. Record yourself. It could be just a voice recording, or if you want, you can also send it via video recording. Pero ang importante is very clear. Walang uh, background noise para marinig ko ng mabute yung pronunciation nyo. And then finally, just send it to my email. Here is my email, uh, teacherdaniel05 at gmail.com. And then, pakikinggan ko yung recording nyo. And then, I will be making a video giving you advice. Remember, uh, kailangan lang na malinaw yung recording nyo. Kasi kung hindi siya ganun kalinaw, I cannot give an honest opinion or may hirapan akong i-distinguish yung pronunciation nyo. So please make sure that it's very clear. Also, uh, you can also include a name kung ano itatawag ko sa inyo para pag pinunod yung video, ah, ako yan. Okay, so <laughs> malalaman nyo kung sino kayo. Uh, it can be your real name, it doesn't matter kung ano lang yung gusto nyong itawag sa sarili nyo. Just include that on sa email. Also, if you want, you can give a brief description of who you are and why uh, English is so important to you. Saan nyo ba Is it for a test that you're taking? Is it for your job? Or um, basically, you just it's just a hobby or you want to have better opportunities um, in the future and you think that having good English pronunciation will help you. Uh, find a better career or better opportunities. So yeah, so please do send it out. It's for free. I'm not charging you guys anything. This is just me giving back to the community. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Before we leave, I really do appreciate you guys giving my video a like. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe and click on that bell icon so that you guys can get updates whenever I upload a new video. So for now, I bid you guys a farewell. Always wash your hands, keep social distancing, and always stay safe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.